KTN News, Kisumu. The stalemate between the Kenya Kwanza and the Azimio legislators in the bipartisan talks continue to persist on a day that Azimio leaders planned to stage demonstrations within the central business district. Azimio team insists that they will not engage in the talks until Elders MP Adan Kainan, who was elected under Jubilee, is removed from the team. However, their Kenya Kwanza counterparts accuse them of lack of goodwill on grounds that they want the talks to continue simultaneously with the Azimio demonstrations countrywide. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Dairo is here with the details. Even as fresh demonstrations called by Azimio leader Raila Odinga in different parts of the country resumed, hopes that the bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio legislators will resume continue to dash as both teams maintain their hard stands. At the center of controversy is the composition of the bipartisan team, while Azimio team maintain that elders MP Aidan Kenan should be replaced. Kenya Kwanza is not comfortable with Pokot South MP David Kosing. Both the Honorable Adam Kainan and the Honorable Kosing still belong to the Azimio coalition. And therefore, to take a position as our colleagues did, that they are willing to consider withdrawing the Honorable Kainan if we also withdraw the Honorable uh, Kosing, is illogical. You cannot take our member and demand that if you remove that member, we also remove another of our own members. That is illogical. Where an issue comes to the table and any of the members is conflicted, Kenya Kwanza has committed to recuse that person so that you do not uh, get involved in a matter where you are directly conflicted. This is what's, what we are also calling upon them to do. Another dispute is the resumption of country demonstrations by the Azimio leadership. Azimio has insisted that the talks and demonstrations should continue simultaneously. We will be emphasizing as talks go on, there must be a suspension, there must be a cancellation of all demonstrations of whatever kind which touch on what we have on the table. We as a joint bipartisan team have never discussed and have never been mandated to discuss anything about the demonstration. It is not in our place to call them or to call them off. In our place is to discuss the things that are within our mandate and we had already outlined them. Since the bipartisan talks were constituted by the Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio principles, President William Ruto and opposition chief Raila Odinga, they have never made any headway in their two sittings. Whether they like it or not, they can go for demos today, go next week, go every week. But what will bring sanity and an end to the difference between the two sides is not demos, it will be talks. The objection to Honorable Kenan is an issue of principle. The objection to Honorable Kosing is an issue of convenience. So far, there's no issue of principle that they have raised again into Abu Kosing. None at all. And as the standoff continues to persist, both teams will now have to wait for new directions from their principals before agreeing for a ceasefire and convene another meeting. Cree. Well, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta has been 